Hey, it's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and we are at the FYC event for Netflix One Day at a Time. Well, congratulations, Gloria, on such an amazing accomplishment of getting season three and an amazing season two, what we're seeing tonight. Yes, we're very happy to be here. It's so exciting to be able to share the second season. You know, after you do a first season of a show, you're like, what are we going to do next? And we really feel like we dug deep into our hearts and, and we did a really emotional season and we're so proud of it. Yeah. And what I love so much is being a Latina and seeing people that look like me. And even I was rewatching episode one. And, and I think you guys did such an amazing job in season two with episode one where you really address the variety of what being a Latino or Latinx really is. Yes. Well, you know, all that stuff comes from real life. That's mm -hmm. the, also the benefit of having a strongly Latinx uh, writing room mm -hmm. is that we all come in with our stories every year. And, you know, season one, the presidential election had not yet been decided. Mm -hmm. And so with season two, there was the sort of what happened after the aftermath and how, you know, the story of, of that episode was my brother actually called me from San Diego and was like, I was just at the beach and somebody told me to go back to Mexico. <laughs> and he's like laughing, like what's happening, right. you know? And he's really, he's like, has this beautiful caramel skin and I'm like the Blanquita on the family. So it was like, oh, we have an opportunity to do a colorism episode and also do this thing that's a real thing that's happening all of a sudden that seems like crazy. And he had to be, you know, you're not going to stop and be like, actually I'm Cuban, you know, like you're not going to, but also don't say that about other people, you know, like what, what? So so uh, it was great to be able to bring those stories in and then, you know, bring them to life. Of course. Now, what can we look forward to for season three? Because what I love is you're, you're so current with everything, kind of like what you just talked about with that episode. Oh. Well, what's really interesting and maybe sad is that a lot of these things are still a problem, mm -hmm. right? So even though we can't be on TV next week, you know, it's six months after we finish wrapping usually is by the time it airs on Netflix, a lot of that stuff is still current mm -hmm. and it's still happening. And when stories like Latino stories are undertold, mm -hmm. then we have such an opportunity and, and such a responsibility to tell them in a, in a real and authentic way so that we can hopefully represent them to the best of our ability. And one other question, yeah. and it's, it's going to be a little controversial, maybe, about a specific tweet that went out from Netflix the other day. How do oh you God. feel well, about that? What's so funny is people are like, oh, so much shade. I was like, is it? I mean, yeah. I, I, for me, I didn't think it was, I, th I think it was like, hey, you guys just lost a show you loved. Here's another show show that's also about so for me it felt so innocent yeah. but uh you know I guess maybe the way they were doing it was kind of you know wink wink um you know the the, the whole Roseanne thing is it's very sad to me because I you know this is a right a community of writers and actors and creators and there's so many good people that are the lost jobs so I don't celebrate that at all but I do think it's important that people are being held accountable for you know who they are and, and in inappropriate things that they say, especially in this climate, like there's just no room for that. And so from that, in that respect, I'm so proud of ABC. It makes me happier to watch their network. Right. Well, you have an incredible opportunity and you're telling so many incredible stories on your show. So congratulations. I'm so excited I'm so to watch next season. You. you too. Yay. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching Red Carpet Report. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment below and let us know what your favorite show is on Netflix for your consideration.